Yuto, that's enough! Clean up your room! Whoa! What the heck, Mika? How did you get in here? You shouldn't have come in without permission. I'm a 20-year-old college student called Yuto. Until I finished high school, I did all the household chores at my parents' house while they were at work. Since then, though, I've moved out, and I live a self-indulgent life, on my own, as a college student. Hey! What the heck is this? What? What? What do you mean? I came here the other day and cleaned up your mess, and now it's all messed up again! I wonder why. I ate, took a bath, went to bed, woke up, and before I knew it, the room was like this again. Living with all this garbage is gonna have a bad impact on your health. That's my childhood friend, Mika. We went to the same college in our home prefecture. I don't know how we ended up going to the same college, but I was growing tired of our slowly rotting relationship. Don't worry, I'm fine. It's spring break now anyway, so it's okay to be a little sloppy, right? I love the freedom of living alone. It's so easy to sit back and do nothing. I often wonder why I used to work so hard. I don't care if my room is messy, just leave me alone. You shouldn't spend all of your time being mad at me, you should enjoy living alone more too. Yuto! What? You sound like my parents. Actually, you're louder than them. You'll never get a boyfriend if you keep worrying about things like this. The messiness of this room has nothing to do with my having or not having a boyfriend. Your mother told me to check in on you from time to time because she's very busy. Ugh. An origami crane. It's made out of a folded gum wrapper. He's good with his hands, but he's clearly averse to housework. As soon as he started living alone, his room became a garbage dump. How did this happen? It's like... Yuto doesn't clean. So I go and clean up after him. Is Yuto the guy who gave you the homemade chocolate cake on St. Valentine's Day that time? Yeah, you've got a good memory, Rika. That's right, I remember it well. She's my cousin, Rika. She was also a college student, but was two years older than me. I adored her, because she had always been like a big sister to me. Mika, you like Yuto, don't you? What? That's impossible! We're just childhood friends! You can't fool me. If you don't like him, why are you blushing right now? What? What you're thinking shows on your face straight away. When Yuto gave you the homemade chocolate cake, you stared at it for a little while, grinning from ear to ear. Oh, did I really? Shall I hook you guys up? I think you'd both be a good match for each other. You say you can hook us up, but what exactly can you do to make it happen? So, you do really like Yuto, huh? Don't worry, I'll take care of it. I have an idea. You two are gonna become a couple, and Yuto is gonna go back to being a good housekeeper. I was very skeptical, but I decided to let Rika try and work her magic. Hmm? Is that Mika again? Mika wouldn't ring the intercom though, would she? Maybe it's a courier with a delivery? Nice to meet you, Yuto. What? Who are you? I mean, how do you know who I am? We meet at last. I've been looking for you ever since I saw you on the street earlier. You've been looking... for me? Why, what did I do? I fell in love with you at first sight. What? So I'll take care of you from now on. What do you mean by you'll... take care of me? Oh, um... what's your name? Call me Rika. Nice to finally meet you in person. What a terrible mess! I'm gonna clean up. You can relax. Hey, hey! I'll make dinner, too. What would you like to eat? What? Hamburg steak? It must be fate. Hamburg steak is my specialty. We must have pulled the red thread of fate out of each other's wrists. What's with this beautiful woman? I'm excited to see it play out, though. It's like something out of a comic book. You two, relax, and watch the rest of that anime. I'll clean up your room. Um, okay, sure. I can't wait to get to know you better. You can spend your time doing whatever you like from now on. If there's anything you need, I'll go shopping for it. You're very helpful. This is like a dream come true. 
She's beautiful and she doesn't get angry at me like Mika does. She must be a great woman. Great! I don't think he's realized that I know Mika. I'll call Mika now that I'm here. Oh, it's Rika. If she's calling me, it must mean I should go to Yuto's apartment. Yuto? What you doing? Whoa, you're too close! I... I'm playing a game. Can I have a go? I don't know how to play, so you'll have to teach me. Sh sure, of course. Thank you. Oh, gosh! Who was that? They knocked on the door so violently. I wonder who it could be. You were just about to teach me how to play the game. Jeez! What do you mean, jeez? You're not making a mess in your room again, are you? No, I'm keeping it clean. Then let me check. No, I'm really busy today. Just go home. Hey, hey! I locked Mika outside. Yuto, I heard a woman's voice coming from outside. Was it your girlfriend by any chance? No, I don't have a girlfriend. Wow. That was close. If Mika finds out that there's a beautiful woman here, it's gonna be trouble for me. My life will be much more comfortable with Reika. She doesn't seem to get mad at me for everything like Mika does. He turned Mika away, just as I expected. We'll just have to wait and see what happens next. Reika had been in my apartment for a week at this point. Reika, I don't mind, but are you sure it's okay for you to have been sleeping here for a week? I mean, don't the people you live with worry about you? Don't worry, I live alone too. Besides, I want to be your girlfriend, so this is where I should be, right? Eh? I forgot she said she fell in love with me at first sight. I thought she was just some random woman who was into video games and anime and wanted to do my homework for me. What's wrong? I should change the subject. I haven't been outside for almost a week, so I'm gonna go outside to get some fresh air and buy the manga that went on sale yesterday. No! What? Why? You mustn't leave. Someone might fall in love with you at first sight like I did. In all my decades of living, you're the first person to have ever fallen in love with me at first sight. It's never gonna happen again. Maybe someone already has a crush on you, but hasn't acted on it. Wouldn't it be nice to go outside even if it was just for a minute? You're never gonna go outside. Not even to take out the trash. Um... This is a scary side of her I haven't seen until now. How have I attracted this type of woman? I'll order you the manga online today, and you'll receive it tomorrow. You've been super nice to me this whole week. You've even slept over. That's not something I normally let people do. I'll never let you leave this apartment. Oh, um, can I go to the bathroom for a minute? Okay, finally. The bathroom window doesn't have bars on it, so I'm sure he'll jump out of it. The next part of the mission has started. Oh, a message from Rika. She says Kyoichi is waiting for me at a convenience store in the neighborhood, and I should go meet him. I feel bad for dragging her boyfriend into this. Dang it! I'm glad I was able to escape through the bathroom window. I only let her in because she's a beautiful woman, and now I've got a ton of problems to deal with. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Ah, it's Mika! Maybe I can go stay at Mika's place for a while. Sorry, Mika. Were you waiting long for me? No, I just got here. Hmm? Who's that guy? Could he be... her boyfriend? Huh... What the heck? Why didn't she tell me she had a boyfriend? I didn't think she would have been taking care of me if she had a boyfriend. But I guess she isn't single anymore. I'm scared, but I'm gonna have to go back home. I'm home. You jumped out of the bathroom window. I'm sorry, Reika. I just want to take care of myself. Can you go home, please? What's wrong all of a sudden? I could spoil you every day. Wouldn't that be nice? I used to do all the housework when I lived with my parents because they were so busy. But when I started living alone, I didn't have to keep the place clean for anyone else. I began living a life of self-indulgence. 
Then, my childhood friend started coming over because she was worried about me. I was pretty lonely, and it made me happy that she'd come over once in a while even if she was always getting angry at me. Maybe I was making a mess in my apartment on purpose just so that she'd come over. Now that I think about it, that's what was really going on. So you're saying I'm not good enough? Thanks for the past week. I'll do my best to not let her get mad at me again. Well said, Yuto. What? Hey, can you come over now? Of course, you and Kyoichi will be here waiting for you, Mika. Mika? Ten minutes later, Mika and the man she was talking to at the convenience store showed up at my apartment. What's going on here? I'm sorry I lied. I'm Mika's cousin. And he's my boyfriend, Kyoichi. I'm sorry for deceiving you. Every time I go to Mika's place, she's always talking about you. She said she wanted you to go back to being the old you, so I hatched a plan to help her. I'm sorry for making such a big deal out of this, Yuto. Here, I recorded it perfectly. Listen, Mika. I used to do all the housework when I lived with my parents because they were so busy. But when I started living alone, I didn't have to keep the place clean for anyone else. I began living a life of self-indulgence. Then, my childhood friend started coming over because she was worried about me. I was pretty lonely, and it made me happy that she'd come over once in a while even if she was always getting angry at me. Maybe I was making a mess in my apartment on purpose just so that she'd come over. Now that I think about it, that's what was really going on. No, don't stop it! That must have been so embarrassing for you to say, Yuto. Mika likes you too, Yuto. If you make her cry, I'll never forgive you. I'll keep that in mind. Yoichi, I miss you so much. I'm so tired. I've been stuck with Yuto for a week and haven't been able to see you. I was worried about you. I knew you did it for your cousin's happiness, but you went in there completely defenseless. I slept in a sleeping bag in front of this apartment for a week. What? You were that worried about me? Of course. I trusted you, but I was still worried about you. It looked like the bond between Reika and Kyoichi had been strengthened by the events of the previous week. With our parents' permission, Mika and I moved in together. Hey, Mika, could you help me take out the trash? You're a much livelier person when you're not being taken care of, so I'm gonna leave you to do all the household chores on your own. It's for your own good, you know? I was motivated to live with Mika, and contrary to what had been happening before, I'm now spoiling her. I guess I'm better suited to serving others.